All right, guys, so here we are on Facebook's main feed, and we're just gonna go up to the right and click this down arrow, as you can see, and then you're just gonna go to settings and privacy. Once you're there, you're just gonna go to settings. And so all I did was come over and click on privacy here to the left, so click on that, and you'll get to this page. So they do actually have this up here, which is something you might wanna take a look at, so let's just click on this. And it'll just show you these ones here, just so you can quickly go through and get your head around it. But for now, we're gonna go down. So with all these settings I'm gonna show you, I'm probably not gonna turn all of them to private and you'll see why. You don't wanna make it completely private so not even your friends can write on your timeline, things like that, but it is up to you. So all we're gonna do here for the first one, who can see your future posts, we're gonna edit that and you just change it here. So I just want my friends to be able to see it. And then once you're done, you just click close. The next one I think is important here is limit the audience for posts you've shared with friends of friends or public. So limit past posts. And that's just so people can't go back and see old photos of you, things like that. So it's definitely an, an important one. Now we're gonna move down to how people find and contact you. Who can send you friend requests? I'm gonna leave that as everyone, but you could change that to just friends of friends. But I want people to be able to find me, so I don't wanna be that private. Who can see your friends list? You can change that to friends, uh, specific friends, only me. I don't know, it, as I said, it depends how private you wanna go. I don't mind if people can see my friends list, that doesn't really matter to me. So I might close that one as well. Who can look up the email address you provided? So this is an important one, we're we'll definitely gonna make that private. Who can look you up, see, uh, these two alone are very important to me. You don't want people to just be able to look you up so easily. Um, I think these are really big ones. So we're definitely gonna put that as only me as well. Do you want search engines outside of Facebook to link to your profile? I don't mind with that one. Like people can search my name on Google and see that I come up on Facebook. As long as they can't see my email and things like that, then that's mainly what's important to me. But again, this is up to you, just showing you how to do it. And then these ones down the bottom here, I'm pretty happy with these ones as they are. Again, up to you guys, but just go through and check out how it is and whether that's the way you want it to be. Next, we're gonna go profile and tagging. Who can post on your profile? So you can actually turn this off and you would have noticed some people have that where you go to write on their wall and you can't write on it. I'm happy with my friends to be able to do that. Who can see what others post on your profile? I'm also happy with my friends to be on there. Again, it's up to you guys. Allow others to share, that's fine. Hide comments containing certain words for your profile. So that might be important to you as well. So the way that works is you go through and you can actually list the words. So if it's the F word, for example, you could have that so no one can actually swear, things like that. This is also something you can do when you're running Facebook ads. You can have certain words turned off so people can't comment them on your posts. Who can see posts you're tagged in on your profile? So this might be important to you as well. I'm happy with my friends to be able to see. And this next one I'm happy with, that's fine for friends with me. So you can actually review posts that you're tagged in. And this is just so you might not want someone to know your business, like where you've been, what you've been doing. So you can actually have that turned on and you can only allow it. But I'm happy with that turned off, that's fine for me. And the rest of these I'm pretty happy with as they are. So we're just gonna go back up and we're gonna click on my profile. And then we'll just come down here and we'll click about down here and make sure this is turned on for all of them. So this lock symbol here just says only me. And that's just for your mobile, your email, your birthday, maybe your religious views, who knows? You can just go down and make sure that this lock symbol is on. You just click on it and it'll be set as only me. So then no one can see it. The next thing we're gonna click on is friends. Then we'll click on these three dots over here and we'll go edit privacy. And then you just have three more options here. So this one is actually set from one of the settings we turned on before anyway, but you can change it here. Who can see the people and pages you follow? So you can obviously change this as well, which might be important to you. And who can see people that follow you on your timeline? You can also set that as well. So just another couple of ones that you can actually change. So the next thing we're gonna click on is photos and then we'll click on albums just here. With the automatically generated albums like profile pictures, cover photos, you don't have the option here to download, but you can go into them and make them private. 
But let's say this one here, which was like karate championships I was in. I can click on this and I can edit album. And I can click up here. And if I want to change this to only me that can see it, I can change that as well. So you can obviously, you've got a few different options here. But only my friends on Facebook can see that and I'm happy with that. So let's just say that you did want to make one of your photos private from out of these albums here or any photo private for that matter. Just click into it. So we're going to here. These are just some martial arts photos of mine. And we'll click on this one. And then you'll see up here it has your friends. That's what it's selected to. You can click on that. And you can change it to only me or whatever you want to do. So that's how you would make any any photos that you have on your profile private. So when you're done doing all your settings, you really want to see that it is actually private. So this little eye icon here lets you view as someone from the public. So we'll just click that. And as you can see, mine is quite, quite private now. This is just a silly thing that I have on there anyway. It's not actually where I live, but no one can see my posts except for this really old one because obviously they were some of the ones that were in the automatically generated Facebook one, but I don't really care about that. And they can see my friends, but I also left that setting on as you guys know. But other than that, they can't really see much and I'm happy with that. The most important part for me and most of you guys will be clicking on the about section here. And if they want to see my overview, they don't know anything. I even have this set as Elephant Island, Antarctica anyway, so no one knows where I live. And most importantly, contact and basic info, there's nothing to show them. They, they know that I'm male, but they don't know anything else. So these settings are very private for me. I'm very happy with how they are, and I hope this really helps you guys out. If it did, please give a comment below, give the video a like, um, let me know that it helped you out. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you hit subscribe.